Antimicrobial resistance occurs due to misuse of antibiotics for human treatment or in livestock feeds. This growing trend has become a danger to decades of medical progress and potential recovery success in treating common infections, performing surgeries and medical procedures. Microbial resistance is a global health challenge. It is one of the major causes of death in the world and therefore recognized as being among the greatest challenges for, glo for global public health. AMR therefore requires global solutions. You are supposed to do, take antibiotics for 10 days. After the symptoms have, sub, have subsided, in, after three days or so, you don't use it again. The microbes will not be killed. They can be silent, they will not be killed. And then they will start building what is called the protein coat around themselves. So that when you use the same antibiotics next time, they will say, hmm. We, you didn't kill us the last time, we are not going to respond now. And if it is a very serious illness, many antibiotics may not work because there's also cross resistance between antibiotics. Antimicrobial Resistance Week is marked 18th to 24th of November annually to improve awareness and understanding of antimicrobial resistance. I can develop resistance through food. Some farmers will actually add tetracycline or oxytetracycline into the feed or they use it in fish pond. We will be killing ourselves slowly if we don't raise this awareness. Beyond the awareness campaign, the NADAC DG said the agency is taking steps to combat antimicrobial resistance through review of the formulation of antibiotics ban on the use of antibiotics as growth promoter in livestock and mold incubators. Oshua Mowa Daniels, AIT News, Lagos.